it's awesome to see a church that, that reaches out and greets people and says hi. It is a family of believers that, that love fellowship time. And this morning we have an opportunity to recognize some members of our church, a group of young men and women that have um, either joined the church in, in most recent years or many of them that grew up in this church. Today is Senior Recognition Service. My name is Wayne Walker, and I currently serve as the Director of Youth Ministries here at Shalomar. Um, in a few moments, I'm going to call up individually each one of our graduating seniors. As I call their name, if they would step up toward um, this entrance over here, seniors. And uh, Pastor Jonathan and Adam have something that they're going to give you. If you would come walk across the stage, and uh, Jesse, you'll be first, so you'll stop at the end of the stage over there. And then everybody else, please stay on the stage until the end of recognizing all of our seniors. I'm going to ask you if you would hold your applause until the end. We'll recognize all of them um, in applause together because we have 21 of them. And actually 22 of them that we're going to be recognizing this morning. And so that's going to take a few moments. I asked them to share some three accomplishments. I had to narrow it down to three. Many of them would have pages and pages of accomplishments if I allowed them to say everything that they've done over their, their years of, of school. So they have narrowed it down to three of their accomplishments and we will recognize them in that way. Jesse Allen Bates. You can do a quick applause and then stop. <laughs> Jesse is the son of the late Bruce A. Bates and the son of Todd and Anita Williams. He is graduating from Choctaw High School. He completed and performed his own song many times, actually, in the Salerno Seven Services and at other places called His Own Love. He is being named the winner of the, he was, being, he was named the winner of the Challenger Award, which is an FCA award, and um, he was a starting football player at Choctaw for the last three years. Jesse, uh, plans, uh, Jesse plans on attending Hillsong College of uh, Ministry Leadership in uh, Sydney, Australia, Australia. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You would think Adam would have taught me better by now. <laughs> and my daughter lives in Australia. Um, he, he plans on pursuing a career for the Lord as a worship leader and musician. Jesse Davis. <laughs> Jamal Deshaun Bias. <laughs> Jamal is the son of Joanne Bias. He is graduating from Choctaw. He was admitted into the Take Stock Scholarship Program in 2006. He was the homecoming king in 2011 and also chosen as a Choctaw Idol winner in 2011. <laughs> Jamal plans on playing basketball at Huntington College in Montgomery, Alabama and major in mathematics. Jamal <laughs> Bailey and Brooks. Bailey is the daughter of Tracy and Richard Overman and Don and Kristen Brooks. She's graduating from Choctaw. She was the editor and chief editor in chief of the Smoke Signals newspaper, both her junior and senior year, and she was the boys basketball manager for the varsity team. After receiving her AA degree at Northwest Florida State College, she plans on attending the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, majoring in elementary education. Bailey Brooks. Clay Thomas Cruz. Clay is the son of Joey and Beverly Cruz. He was the winner of the 2011 Clint Alley Good Overachiever Award. <laughs> he is an overachiever. He played football for the, for the Choctaw um, Indians also. He plans on attending the Tallahassee Community College in the fall. Clay Cruz. <laughs> Christopher A. Fouch. Chris is, the, Chris is the son of Chuck and Mona Fouch. He attended Choctahatchee High School. 
He was um, part of the varsity wrestling team at Choctaw for all four years. He went to the uh, regionals in wrestling twice, and he's very proud that he's graduating from high school. <laughs> <laughs> Chris's future plans is he is enrolled at Myra Costa College in California, where he will pursue an associate's degree in automotive technology. Chris Fouch. <laughs> Daniel Nicole Falk. Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> Danny. Where's Danny? Here comes Danny. Danny Falk. Folk. Danny Folk is graduating from um, Chakahatchee High School. She completed four years of the International Baccalaureate Program. She's graduating cum laude, and she was selected as the homecoming queen this year. She plans on attending Florida State University and pursue a career in veterinary science. Danny <laughs> Taylor Lynn Havens. Taylor is the daughter of Paul and Tracy Havens. She's graduating from Choctaw. She um, was the volleyball captain this year and also was uh, selected to the all-star team. She's been accepted at Florida State University um, where she received an EOD Memorial Scholarship. She plans on attending Florida State University and pursue a degree in athletic training or physical therapy. Taylor Havens. Tyler Matthew Hill. Tyler is the son of Mike and Beth Hill. He is graduating from Northwest Florida State College Collegiate High School. He will re uh, receive his, uh, he has received already his Associates of Arts degree from Northwest Florida State College. He is a Bright Future Scholar and a Nautilus Scholarship at the University of West Florida. His plans are to attend the University of West Florida and major in psychology. Tyler Hill. Jonathan Michael Papajan. Mikey is the son of David and Ginny Hoppenjohn. He is graduating from Choctahatchee High School. He won the FMBC State Championship his freshman year. What does that stand for, Mike? FMBC. There you go. Florida Marching Band Coalition State um, Championship his freshman year. He has been on our youth leadership team here at the church for the past six years, and he made the absolute best friends anyone could ever have here at, Sh at Shalomar United Methodist Church. <laughs> Michael attend will be attending North Coast Florida State College and then transferring after he receives his AA degree. Mike Hoppenjohn. <laughs> Kendall Lee Kelly. Kendall is the daughter of Chuck and Lori Kelly. She's graduating from Choctaw. Yeah. She uh, was accepted to Florida State University. She was president of the Willett Service Club, football team manager for all four years. She plans on attending Florida State University and studying political science and then go to law school. Kendall Kelly. <laughs> Alexis Sim Simone. How is it, Lexi? Simone, Alexis Simone Landers. She is the daughter of Dana Pierce. She's gra graduating from Choctaw. She um, signed a scholarship to play soccer at Darton College. Uh, she was chosen as a senior beauty, and she made the all-star team for the East Side um, and was um, the captain of the soccer team. And one of her most important events was beating Niceville in soccer and chosen as a defensive most valuable player. Yeah. She, tends, she plans on attending Darden College and playing soccer in the fall. <coughs> Lexi Landers. <laughs> Ariel Elise Lindner. Ariel is the daughter of Phil Lindner and Tracy Burton Lindner. She is graduating from Choctaw. She's graduating summa, summa cum laude. And she is number three in her class. She was chosen as the captain and most valuable player for the Choctaw varsity team. She received the National Buckeye and Maximus Scholarship to attend Ohio State University. Her future plans are to attend Ohio State University and study pre-medicine. Ariel Williams. 
Maui Victoria Mahone. Uh, Maui is the daughter of Dell and Vicki Mahone. She's graduating from Choctaw. Um, she won the uh, state championship for freshman year and received a police escort and thought that was an amazing experience. Um, she enjoyed representing the style of marchers and marching down the streets of New York in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and also being um, in World Guard her junior and senior years and competing in World Guard Internationals in Dayton, Ohio was a dream come true. She plans on attending Northwest Florida State College and major in radiography. Radiography? Radiography. Radiography. Yes. I did graduate from college. Now we're going to Casey Lynn Mills. Casey is the daughter of Randy and Lynn Mills. She's graduating from Choctaw. She's graduating summa cum laude. She has enjoyed playing soccer for the last four years at Choctaw and being vice president of her senior class and president of the Diamond Dolls. She plans on attending, not Auburn, but Florida State University and majoring in pre-dentistry, Casey Mills. John James Mills. JJ is the, the son of Scott and Mary Beth Mills. He is proud of making it to the state championship his 11th grade year and the final four his 12th grade year in soccer. He is very happy that he survived the IB program in Choctaw, <laughs> and also he has become an AP scholar. He is planning on attending Florida State University and per pursuing a career in environmental law. J.J. Mills. <laughs> David Lloyd Moon. David is the son of Lloyd and Sandy Moon. He's graduating from Choctaw. He, um, is very proud that he is accomplishing his um, rank as Eagle Scout soon. He just finished his Eagle Scout project. He was accepted at Southern Mississippi as a cheerleader, and he will be um, on the cheer team at the University of Southern Mississippi. His future plans are to attend Southern Miss and receive a degree in polymer science. David Boone. Andrew Brian Morell. Andrew is the son of Lynn and Ron Morell. He is graduating from Choctaw. He has completed all four years in the IB program. Um, he went to back-to-back -to -back final four with the soccer team at Choctaw, and he was accepted at the University of Florida, where he plans on attending uh, next fall. Andrew Morell. Skyler. <laughs> Elaine Reinerson. Skyler is the daughter of Jeff and Shelley Reinerson. She's graduating from Choctaw. She was voted as um, a senior beauty and ten, and one of the ten most spirited Indians. She was chosen to be on the Subway High School All-Star East Soccer Team, and she was voted as being the favorite of the senior class. Um, she plans on attending Tallahassee Community College and major in elementary education. Skylar Reinerson. <laughs> Ethan Cody Wilson Small. Ethan is the son of Michelle and Michael Small. He um, made the rank of captain in the ROTC program. He won the President's Cup for the state of, of Florida. He made the Choctaw um, varsity soccer team as a sophomore and also named to the all area team. He plans on attending Auburn University in Montgomery on an ROTC scholarship majoring in computer science, and then becoming an Army Ranger. Ethan Small. <laughs> Sarah Jane Stockstill. Sarah is the daughter of Mark and Jan Stockstill. She's graduating from Choctaw. She completed the IB program at Choctaw. She received the Gold Award in Girl Scouts, and she sang with the Madrigals um, Choral Group at Choctaw. She plans on having a musical theater major at Young Harris College in North Georgia. Sarah Stockstill. <laughs> Tyler Jacob Terrio. Tyler is the son of Jason and Tammy Terrio. He is very proud that he is graduating. 
Um, he is proud that he did make it to the state championship in soccer, and he's been accepted to go to Huntington College. He will attend Huntington College in the fall, where he has, will be playing soccer for Huntington College in Montgomery, Alabama. Tyler Terrio. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Turner. Haley is the, the daughter of Jennifer Turner. She's graduating from Choctaw. She won the state title in cheerleading as part of the cheerleading squad. One of her most important events just recently occurred here at church, and that was being baptized and confirmed at Shalomar United Methodist Church. She is graduating summa cum laude, and she plans on attending the University of Florida, majoring in biology, to become a doctor. Before I recognize all of these seniors together and give you the opportunity to give them a, a great round of applause, just wanted to share with you that you heard our future. You see our future standing on the stage. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to the future. I think it's very bright. I think it is a future that we can all look forward to and be very proud of what these young men and women are going to do. I welcome and give you the honor of welcoming the senior class of 2012 from Shalomar United Methodist Church. Thank you.